Okay, so now we wanna go over using Mini 2, how the different lighting in the room could affect the scan. And this is rather sensitive with Mini 2 because Mini 2 uses blue lighting to scan its objects. So you wanna avoid ambient light, what does that mean? Just like any scanner, of course, direct sunlight's gonna be horrible, but even more so when you're using a scanner that uses blue light to scan its objects. So stay away from windows. If you do have the windows, draw the blinds maybe. But the room itself can have average, just the typical lights on. That's not gonna affect it too much. But right now we have these obnoxious lights on. Maybe we could just look at them real quick. These things are horrible. Cause you can see on the home screen right now, I can barely pick up the image that I'm trying to get. But if I switch off auto and I turn the depth camera all the way up to 10, you can see the item a little bit better for sure, but it's still not the best. So let's just go back to auto and then we'll turn off these lights and you can notice the clear contrast of when you don't have this extra too much light going on when scanning. So let's turn them off. Boom, right there, it gets a lot clearer. I'll turn on the LED on Mini. And let's scan it. Okay, and I'm not gonna run it through editing at all. I'm just gonna show you the point clouds captured. And honestly, it's really nice. Not too many holes pretty clear that was just one time around 360 but again keep in mind with mini 2 because it uses blue light and honestly we put use blue light with it because blue light's gonna pick up more accurate you're gonna have more of an accurate scan with it but of course there's some things you got to keep in mind stay away from the light of the sun get away from windows if you're in a room, make sure you don't have obnoxious lights going on like what we have this in the studio for filming. As long as you avoid that though, you're gonna get an excellent scan with Mini 2.